In just 48 hours, the polls in the nation's final 2022 contest will close. God don't need a politician. He need that warrior. The Georgia Senate runoff heated on the campaign trail today to the very end. Hello, University of Georgia! But tonight, a woman who was in a five-year relationship with Republican Herschel Walker speaking out to NBC News. I believe the deception now is on the American people, and I have to say what I know. I have to tell the Herschel I know. Cheryl Parsa first told her story to the Daily Beast last week, alleging the former football star physically attacked her in 2005. He told me, you want to see a man? I'll show you a man. And he was pressing his forehead against mine. My head was against the wall. He was speaking with such force that his saliva was all over my face. And he had his hand on my throat and my chest. And then he leaned back to throw a punch. And luckily I was able to avoid that. And uh, the punch landed on the wall instead of me. NBC News spoke with three individuals whom she told of this incident in the past before he was running for the Senate. Her story, not the first allegation of domestic abuse against a former football star. His ex-wife, Cindy Grossman, spoke out in 2008. He got a gun and he put it to my temple. Put the gun right to your temple. Mm -hmm. What did he say? I'm going to blow your effing brains out. And just two months ago, Walker's son tweeting that his father had previously, quote, threatened to kill us. Walker has previously acknowledged suffering from mental illness during the period of these allegations. He even wrote a book about it saying he had dissociative identity disorder, a condition in which an individual has various and distinct personalities. A Texas woman is alleging that sir, you physically sir, attacked her and this. repeatedly sir, threatened please her. Please stop Would you this. like to respond right. to those allegations? Walker and his campaign have not responded to Parse's allegations. I never real, uh, thought that I would be in this situation today. Who would have ever thought he would be running for Senate? Um, and I would feel this compelled to come forward um, but it was the women it was it was for me because I'd lived in silence for so long um, carrying the shame of what I allowed and Vaughn's with me now Vaughn what impact have these allegations had on Walker's campaign on voters Kate in last month's general election Walker received 38,000 fewer votes than Warnock which is why he has focused so heavily in his closing pitch on making the case to this historically conservative state that they need a Republican vote in the U.S. Senate. Kate. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.